Check out the fancy drawbridge. After you. I can't believe we're about to knock on Tony Stark's door. <sighs> Me neither. like the controls are on the other side. You think you can find a way over there? I mean, I could break through those rocks, but the green guy isn't the best at talking things out. Good point. Smashing things, not me. Why not? It's kind of fun. So, what's the best part of being the Hulk? You gotta like something. Uh, we should really focus on the drawbridge. What are you gonna do? Stand around in silence the whole time? <laughs> yeah, great idea. Eh, suit yourself. More rocks? No problem. Are you okay? Uh, uh, I'm fine. I can see Golden Acres! G uh, kinda. Great. So, can you jump over and lower the bridge? Sure thing. You can make that jump. Just a little farther this time. Uh, made it! Okay. Guess it needs power. Still waiting on that bridge, Kamala. I hereby grant you passage to Sir Stark's fancy castle. <laughs> okay, calm down. Nice job. Sounds like he's up, at least. Isn't that one of his top five songs to kick, uh, butt to? Yep. Good old number four. Can't be it. Let's get this over with. So Tony Stark, the Tony Stark lives here? Oh, I appears so. Tony? Hey, Bruce. Long night? Ooh, long five years. <laughs> um, well, this is quiet. Yeah. It was. I... <sighs> hey, back off! Hi, I'm sorry. Who are you? Uh, Kamala? Well, uh, Kamala, your Emeraldite friend here is kind of on my shit list. Okay. I deserve it. Yeah, you're damn right you deserved it. Do the Avengers pose a danger to society? That was the question, Bruce. That was the question. Did you even check the science? Did you check It was a the heist, science? Bruce. No. We were outsmarted. No. The Terrigen reactor was unstable, <sighs> and you knew that, you knew that, and you still paraded it before the entire world. So what? We just give up? We didn't give up, Tony. We failed. At least I can admit that. We failed him. We failed him. Tony, I don't know how long you're gonna be mad at me, and to be honest with you, I don't really care. Take as long as you want. 
But, but the kid is inhuman. We did this. And she needs your help. I, I can't. I can't. You can't what? You're ditching me? Oh, hey, don't take it personally, kid. No, this is what he does, isn't it? And why don't you take a good look around, huh? I can barely help myself. <laughs> this was a mistake. Now we agree on something. So you're both just gonna walk away? The Avengers were set up. Cap was murdered. You think I don't know that? Huh? I've replayed that day in my head a thousand times. The Avengers take the fall despite saving the day, and that bastard Charlton walks away smelling like a rose. And guess what? Guess what? No one cares. No one cares. The world needed someone to blame, and he gave them their scapegoat. So, unless you have some kind of astounding proof, I suggest you both get off my land. What is that? Proof. This better be good. Hmm. Kind of buried the lead, you know. Could have told me about that earlier. No, no, no. No sitting on my couch. You're still on the list. Where did you get this? Guess your password on some resistance blog. Impressive. Dude, your password was I am Iron Man. Really? Huh. Thought I changed that. Son of a bitch. I know, it's incomplete. There's a whole folder on AIM's server. No, no, there's there's more here. What? Yeah, look at smart. They encrypted it to look like a corrupt file. Need a few hours, I'll get all the rest. What is this? Who is who is Tiny Dancer? Oh no. We gotta get out of here. What? You know this shameless Elton John fan? They helped me get out of Jersey. I wouldn't be here if they hadn't warned me about AIM. Really? Tiny Dancer? Look, we really should go. Now. I would have gone with Rocket Man. Okay, I gotta get dressed. You have a suit? Yeah, maybe, sort of. We'll see. Excuse me while I slip into something less comfortable. Oh, that's where I left my boots. Bruce tries to saddle me with a stray fangirl. After all these years, he still can't own up to his own responsibilities. No, oh, son of a... Well, looks like Tiny Dancer was telling the truth. They found you, Bruce. Yeah, don't judge me, Grandpa. I'm doing my best. Oh, great Nana's flying machine. Still a thing of beauty. Can't say that. Same about her. Let's get airborne.
Party crashers. be around here somewhere. Good thing I don't have neighbors. They'd be so pissed off right now. You always love to make an entrance, Stark. How did I do? Uh, I'll give you a 7 out of 10. Good to see you, Georgie boy. You been working out? You any other billion dollar companies lately? Just yours. Hey! You're gonna pay for that window, Tarleton! This is your new place? I expected more mirrors. I got rid of everything that didn't spark joy. Guess what pile you're in? Turn the girl over, Stark. And that will get you off my lawn. Uh... Mr. Stark... I'm joking, kid. Just stay near the nice green man. The girl needs our help. Well, you know, she seems fine to me. Inhumans are sick. They need treatment. Do people actually buy that crap? How's Charlton controlling these machines? I don't know. He got powers after the accident. I saw him controlling a robotic spider thing once. Well, he's leveled up from spiders. Nice moves, kiddo. Yeah, uh, Kamala? We got air trouble. Stay close to the Hulk, or as close as he'll let you. No, I got this. Watch. Wait! You're not ready for... Yeah! Or maybe you are. Yeah. 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 
see you and Banner together again. Well, Brucey and I are seeing someone about our issue. She's great. Short, stretchy, really good at guessing passwords. Is that why you sent an army to take her down? Right? It's kind of a compliment, actually. I like you more every second, kid. side five years ago. You showed up and forced my hand. You the girl and you and whatever you want. Forget it. Took the words right out of my mouth. Watch your words. You no longer make the rules. He does. When I was young, I found an orphaned wolf cub in the forest behind our farm. What? Dad said it was too dangerous. He told me to get rid of it. I fed that cub. I named him. I watched him play with my beloved dog, Darwin. You're wasting my time. I felt if I could instill rules, the proper boundaries, I could harness the raw power of that beast. I'm done rambling! Almost. Oh. A few months later, while hunting, the adolescent cub turned on me, snarling, frothing at the mouth. Darwin bought me a few precious moments to call for help. Dad. My dad shot the wolf. But it was too late. Darwin had been torn to pieces. George. We need him. <laughs> I I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Leave. Please. Jarvis, you haven't aged a day. Welcome back, Mr. Stark. Missed you, buddy. You flying free? In full working order. Give me the worst of it. The Chimera is running on secondary power. Major hull damage is also detected. Engines are offline. Climate... So it's bad. That is an accurate assessment. Okay, we gotta get this bird airborne. <laughs> Excuse me? AIM knows it's here. So it needs to not be here when they get here. What? All right. While we work on cleanup, you mind taking a look at something for me? Certainly, sir. See what you can do about decrypting this file. At once. Gotta see why the turbines won't activate. 
Better check out the initiator cores in the hangar. Do I want to know what's going on here? Hey, Tony. Just lending my, um, technical knowledge to Bruce here. Well, I can see I have my work cut out for me. Not helping, Tony. I'm Phil Sheldon, reporting live from... Wait, wasn't this working before? Okay, Jarvis. Time me. 1.04 seconds, sir. Huh. Guess I'm a bit rusty. Jarvis, pop question. Where do we keep the spark plugs? The initiator cores can be found in the far corner of the lower deck, sir. Correct, Amundo. Do I win a prize now, sir? You win the biggest prize of all. My affection. How exciting. Oh yeah, that looks perfectly up to safety standards. I think I found the problem. If I just... Oh! It's definitely the initiator cores. Wait, don't the bigger aim bots use similar cores? If we could get a hold of one, I could get this old bird in the air in no time. Indeed, sir. But someone would need to procure said initiator cores. Yeah, I barely have a suit. But maybe I could cobble something together. I'll search inventory for leftover pieces of armor. Thanks, buddy. Hey, Tony, I'm still working on the door, but can you check on Kamala? I think she may have turned off her comms. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah, this whole thing, it's uh, probably a tough adjustment. You got it. Second floor of the old crew quarters, right? Jarvis, can you see if she's even up there? Sir, there are no surveillance systems in the private quarters. Whose terrible hippie idea was that? Yours, sir. Right. Sir, in case you were wondering, your old room is still intact. This place is a mess. Just as you left it. You know, when I was living on the ranch, it took me years to stop asking you out loud for things. Jarvis, start the coffee pot. Jarvis, empty the sewage tank. Jarvis, where are my socks? I'm pleased to see that you survived without me, sir. Ah, it's good to be back. Jarvis, any chance you can read all these memos for me? Oh, don't pull that regularly scheduled maintenance crap. I know you can hear me. Sure glad I kept a spare here. Well, guess I'm about to barge into a teenager's room. You. Whoa. Hey! Sorry? You should have knocked. I was trying. Uh, I was knocking fist. Jarvis, help me out here. It appears the locking mechanisms on some of the Chimera's crew quarters have not been enabled. There you have it. I will fix that. Please do. I'm gonna meet up on the command deck in about ten minutes. You should, uh, should come. I know, I... They look ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, of course you do. Man. No, 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 we all do. 
It's part of the job. Have you seen Thor's outfit? Flowing robe, Vegas shoulder pads. Pretty ridiculous. <laughs> I am digging this, uh... Oh, it's a burkini. My mom bought it for me. Muslim ladies like to wear it for sports and stuff. It's great. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna change. Wait, 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 wait. The outfit is, is all about attitude. You gotta wear it like you mean it. Show me what you got. Come on, you can do better than that. Yeah, now we're talking? All right. You know what? Maybe I can help you with some upgrades for that. Gear's already spinning. Really? Yeah. Oh, and if Bruce says anything, just remind him that all he wears are super stretchy shorts. <laughs> Rose, the kid's fine. She's tough. Kind of like her. And she laughs at my jokes. Yeah, she, uh, she grows on you. Hey, uh, meet me at the tech lab. I've almost got this door fixed. You got it, stretchy pants. Sorry, what was that? Nothing. On my way. <laughs> 